Hey everyone, welcome back to the Earth and Bloom channel. We are on the chainsaw bench today, and the topic is going to be chains. So, we got the test, the testing saw is going to be the Echo, because I like running it now, so we're going to run that through some wood. Just got a load of maple in, so it should be some good cutting, and we got two sharp chains, and let me show you the difference here in the... Okay, so we got two Oregon chains, they're both 20 inch 70 link for this Echo. And try to get a good shot. So as you can see, this one still has the safety link in it, which is, so which is this link here, it's kind of a bumper. So if we go to the nose, you'll see how it kind of curls up and it makes the, it's just a safety bumper for your tip. So it protects kickback when you get your tip into some wood and it makes it a little smoother for bore cutting. But I've had online in a few chainsaw groups, every time I show a picture like this, they say, oh, get rid of this. You're, you're wasting speed and effort so as you can see, chain is perfectly sharp. And we got the exact same chain down here. So this one is the same Oregon 72, 70 link chain, but I, I do this one handed here. I spent a bunch of time on the bench grinder and we ground them all off. So now it's like a standard chain. There, you can see that better. So I just made it flat like a normal link. Normal link. Just all the way. So now it's a normal chain link. And as you can see, this one's just as sharp. It really doesn't get much sharper than that by a hand file. So what I'm thinking of doing, we're gonna go find a, a nice piece of 19 inch maple or something. At least use up the whole bar. We'll do a couple of time cuts, see if there's a difference between that safety bumper being gone or having the safety bumper there, if there's a difference in cut at all. These are both basically new chains and they've both been sharpened exactly the same. So yeah, I used this jig on both chains to get the exact same angles on both chains so there's no, oh your hand file on this one was a little better. They're exactly the same file. Uh, these are nice if you're not very good hand filing. Pick one of these jigs up. Uh, it takes a little bit to set them up. They're a bit clumsy, but they are super nice to get the feel for how the file should be on the chain. And it gets you, gets you the feel for the angles. So they do come in handy for that and they're fairly cheap. Like this is the Oregon one right here. This is the older Oregon. It's made in Italy. I think the new ones are plastic, but they're only like 25 bucks and they probably, it'll do the same thing. It'll teach you, teach you the motions behind the angles. So I guess that's enough chit chatting. We got two sharp chains, one echo that's ready to cut some wood. Let's go dump that dump trailer and find a piece of wood that'll work. All right, looks like we got a good candidate right on the end here. Well, that's pretty close to a bar deep, I'd say. So let's get the echo warmed up. And let's slice through this maple. All right, so we're gonna start with the Oregon chain that has the, the bumper safety link on it. Bar and chain. Throw it up the whole way. 
Just let the chainsaw go through, not using the not using the bumper spikes. And as you can see, it's that sharp with the bumper spikes. It's pretty quick, so let's switch chains and see if it makes a difference. Okay, so on this Echo CS 600, it's the same size as the still three-quarter inch scrunch bar nuts aren't captured and you got a side adjust chain tensioner so this is the chain that I ground the bumper spike or sorry the bumper the bumper link I call them ground that off. Could go a smidge tighter. I find these echoes like to loosen up a little bit right at the beginning. Could just be the cover style. Okay, so now this is the Oregon chain with the, the bumper link ground off. According to everybody on the internet, it should be a lot faster. Sharp saw. 
So here is the chips. That's cutting nice. So I don't know if I could really feel the difference. I'm gonna have to look at the time, see what happens. So maybe we'll cut up a little bit of this maple. While the saw is here, we might as well. And see what this saw can do. All right, still cutting with the, the non-safety bumper link chain. guys so as you can see behind me we got that load about all cut up we got one big piece I'm sitting on right here to cut and a real big chunk behind me with the Y in it might save that for the mill it might just be long enough but anyways on to the subject of these chains I, I didn't really notice the difference We'll see the speed difference if there is any. But I really don't see a reason to be chopping that safety link off. Because it really just helps you cut smooth with the tip. So even though you shouldn't be cutting with the tip. But yeah, I don't recommend you grinding the chains off. Use them as they come. Because there's really no real performance increase, I don't think. That's worth the kickback of chopping your leg off or something. So I guess that, that closes this subject off. They sure both are cutting real nice though in this Echo. I really like this Echo after I did this muffler mod. A more intensive muffler mod. It's a thirsty machine. It's quite a bit thirstier than the 261 and thirstier than the 572, which is 10 cc more than this. But this has its own unique sound to it and it runs real nice. And it's a comfortable saw, comfortable firewood saw. It's not a saw you want to be throwing around like this really. No, it's a comfortable saw for bucking with. So, so this gets a big thumbs up from me the Echo 600P. If you want a muffler done, 
hit me up. I'll do her up for you. So we're gonna get to we're gonna split this up in an upcoming video with the Easton Maid. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for that. Stay tuned. We got lots more chainsaw stuff coming. Springs just about here. A lot more farm stuff coming. So we got a little bit of everything for you. So if you like to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.